On today's Swarf, we take a nosy round ADP Precision in Newcastle. Right, let's go for a walk then. So, Anthony, can you tell me a bit about ADP Precision? Yeah, so ADP was formed in 1999 by myself and Peter, the other director. We had worked at a previous local company. Um, we decided we'd give it a shot and start on our own. Um, we started off for a couple of brand new Cincinnati's at the time. Uh, we got the first customer relatively quickly and we just progressed from there. We've grown the business since 1999 to where it is now. Well, as you can see, it's, it's a big place. And actually, just before we carry on, we're going to jump on someone a little bit and ask them a few questions. So, what's your name? Uh, it's Harry. And Harry, what are you making? Uh, these are just some medical components that, uh, that I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And what machine are you running? So, I'm running this one, which is a pre-op, and I've got this one, which is, well, the jobs come off there and come straight onto the air. Do you like running this machine? Sorry? Do you like running this machine? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's good work. Perfect. We'll leave it at that. So, parts for medical, parts for oil and gas. Yeah. Do you just essentially any sector that comes through the door? Yeah, we do any sector, to be fair. Recently, we've moved into the EV market, making a lot of shafts and uh, turbines and things like that, uh, bearing housings. So that's one of the markets we're moving into at the moment. So essentially, you do parts for everything. Yeah, we do. Now, who are we jumping on down here? Oh, we've not got to him quite yet, have we? But no. as you can see, if Davo looks around, you've just got so many Doosons and DMGs. Yeah. So where are all the Doosons from? They're from Mills. And what's the service like? Uh, service from Mills is first class, kind of followed. There you go, can't argue with that. Right, is he ready? Yeah, this So, Greg. What's your name? It's Greg. And Greg, what are you making? I'm making some pin retainers for the oil and gas um, industry. And what machine are you running today? Uh, DMG 70U. And what do you think of it? Yeah, it's a good machine, it's really good. Simple, user friendly. There you go, thank you very much. And by the way, these guys don't know we're actually jumping on them. We've just given them a little heads up, we might. But So what sort of parts are we making down here? These are a surgical component uh, for robotics. We do a lot of robotics, automation, things like that. Now, we will show you parts we can, but as some stuff un is under NDAs, we don't want to sort of yeah. go down that road, do we? That's Let's true. not get you in trouble on this video. <laughs> so what are the guys making down this end of the shop? Uh, again, that's a little oil and gas component. Uh, this is on the CMX 50U, which we have the automation on. Uh, the automation's been great. We can load it up at weekends, night times, and we get a lot of unmanned running. Unmanned running. Fantastic machine. Well, you can't argue with that, can you? You go from working five days a week to then working seven days a week just because of a better automation. Yeah, the automation's helped her a lot. It's helped her be a lot more competitive and it made her a little bit more efficient. Now, just before we go into what we class as your turning section, yeah. I want to talk about the screen behind us. Yeah, the state of sports. Because PSL data track, what do you think of it? The state of sports have been absolutely brilliant. Um, they allow us to keep an eye on our on-time deliveries, uh, we're goods inwards. So that's the goods inwards board. Anything red, as you can see, is late. The orange is what's due in the day, and the green is what's due in the next seven days. So it just keeps you on top of everything? Yeah, it's, it's helped with, with regards to KPIs. It's helped with monitor them. And we've got the KPIs up from 92% to mid-90s. So right. it's, it's helped a lot. What more can you ask for? Exactly. Now, your turning section, we're going to go down there in a little bit because I want to talk about inspection first. Yeah. And... As you now, as you bought a Mitotoyo CMM, yeah. you've got to love the clock you get with yeah, it. Yeah, they're brilliant. So, has inspection always been a big part of your business? Yeah, I think it, it's always been a big part, but more so in the last five years. A lot of customers are pushing now for, you know, your PPAPs, your FIAs and ISI reports. Um, with the new Mitotoyo CMM, that allows me to do all that. Um, so, yeah, the CMM's been brilliant. And I've got to ask, has anybody tried to measure a part with it yet? Not yet. There's, there's always a time, isn't there? Now, I just want to jump around here quick because ball feeders from Hydrofeed? Yes. What do you think to them? Are they, are they, have, they, have they helped you in that little bit of automation? Yes. So, again, these are used over night time. They're also used over weekend. Um, we've, had the, we've used multi-feeds for about 20 years and we've never, ever had a problem. 
they've been brilliant and they do exactly what they're supposed to do. Well, you can't, you can't, there's nothing better than that, that you've had them for 20 years and never had a problem. Yeah. Now, we're going to head back to where we started and I want to talk a little bit about tooling yeah. before we get to the vending machine. So what sort of, from what companies do you use tooling from? Predominantly Seagull and WNT Saratessa. And are, are, are they just the best two you found while you, over the years? Yeah, for quality and I think the quality of the, the products that they've got, the range, it's, it's perfect for what we do. And I think the, the customer service, you know, if you, you order something, you're getting it next day. Um, that's why we use those two suppliers. And you can't argue with that service. So if you need a tool, you need it next day because sometimes that one tool can stop a machine running. Yeah. So you need to be able to get it up and running as fast as possible. Yeah. Now, we just, we're just going to nip around this corner and there's blue roll on things you can't see. The vending machine. Yeah. Has this been a nice addition for your shop to sort of, for traceability of cutters, you know exactly how many stuff and when stuff needs reordering? Yeah, it, it is good from that point of view, but we got this at the start of COVID. Uh, when obviously, you know, deliveries were, at the time, I think everybody was struggling with deliveries. So we've got the, the vent put on site and since then it's, it's been absolutely brilliant. Um, it does exactly what you need it to do. And that's, that's all you want, isn't it? You just want it to do exactly what it's meant to do. Yep. Now, Anthony, ADP Precision, I'd like to say a big thank you for letting us have a nosy round. If you would like to see more swarfs or have an idea for a swarf, then drop a comment down below and we will try our best to get it done. But also, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more swarfs coming soon.